The um, project uh, has to do with people who have hemophilia, which is a genetic disorder where uh, people are born uh, with an inadequate amount of what we call factor. It's a protein that is necessary for normal blood clotting. And so people with hemophilia uh, have a tendency to have bleeds, um, not necessarily due to cuts, but they also maybe uh, uh, hard physical exercise, uh, bleeding into joints and things that can lead to uh, chronic joint disease and, and other complications. And so um, in order to uh, treat those bleeds or prevent bleeds, uh, there is a product available called the Factor Concentrate that is, uh, is essentially a concentrated form of the factor that the uh, person is deficient in and it allows them to, um, to clot normally. Uh, in some cases, uh, up to about maybe 10% or so of people with hemophilia the um, body treats the Factor Concentrate as a foreign protein and develops an antibody to it. Uh, and this then um, is, creates real problems because now uh, the factor concentrate that used to be able to be used to stop their bleeds is no longer effective. So this particular study, uh, what we're trying to do is to uh, collect information, collect data from patients with hemophilia uh, and try to determine why some people develop inhibitors and why some people don't. And uh, essentially it involves uh, people keeping track of how often they use uh, factor concentrates to control their bleeding. And it involves uh, a blood specimen once per year to make sure that they don't have an antibody developing. And it also involves a blood specimen that's used for uh, a genetic test to be able to uh, determine what uh, the genetic defect is that resulted in their hemophilia because uh, some studies have shown that um, that particular um, defect uh, may have uh, an influence on whether or not they are more likely to develop an inhibitor. There are a number of really uh, unique aspects to uh, our program here at CDC. One of them is that we have established uh, in a system of treatment centers. These are our clinics that are usually uh, held in educational institutions uh, where uh, patients with hemophilia come and receive care. And we have a, uh, what we call a surveillance system set up. By increasing the amount of information that we collect a little bit into areas that uh, have been suggested to be uh, perhaps associated with these um, inhibitors, we're able to use a system that's already established to collect the information that's needed about this. The other um, really unique aspect that we bring to it is we have a world-class um, laboratory here. And the laboratory is able to do not only the testing uh, that's required, but also to um, do um, work with equipment uh, that's not available in many other places uh, and also be able to do some of the research that's required um, to develop new tests, better tests uh, for, uh, for these patients.